inside Megan Thee Stallion's messy relationship with Party. Isn't Megan Thee Stallion dating American football player Travis Kelsey? Then why did her boyfriend Party post this on Valentine's Day? Well, it wouldn't be surprising. Megan and Party have had a messy relationship right from the get-go. If you want some juicy Hollywood drama, <laughs> you've come to the right place. Let's explore Megan Thee Stallion's messy affairs with Party Fontaine and the most recent rumors about their breakup. Before Megan Thee Stallion and partisan Party Fontaine became a thing, they were work partners in the music world. In April 2020, Megan released a remix of her hit song Savage, featuring Beyonce. If you look up the songwriter credits, it says Jordan Thorpe in there. That's Party. Again, his name appears on Megan's song WAP, released in August of the same year. Of course, by the time the two met, Party was also a big name in the music industry. He collaborated and co-wrote for some of the biggest names out there, from Cardi B to Ed Sheeran, Lil Nas X, and Kanye West. Back in 2013, he released his first single, Oi, two years before he dropped his first mixtape, Not Supposed to Be Here. But Party achieved worldwide in 2018 when he released his song, Backing It Up featuring his longtime friend, Cardi B. In February 2021, Megan took to Instagram and confirmed she was dating Party, but it seemed like she did it just to protect his public image. I didn't like what they was trying to say about Party, because he's so calm and so sweet and very protective. That's my boo, and I really like him. I never said hot girls can't have boyfriends. Yeah, he my boyfriend. That Valentine's Day, Party treated Megan to a private jet and a personalized dinner menu titled Party with a Hottie. By March, though, Party started sharing moments of domestic bliss too. His caption? Something about her in that bonnet be sending me. The party girl. At the end of March, the couple made their red carpet debut at the iHeartRadio Music Awards. And during a June 25th appearance on the Houston radio show, The Box, Megan openly gushed about party. First of all, he does make me happy, but my happiness comes from myself because I'm a happy lady. But like I said in the last interview, I got good energy around me right now. Everybody that's a part of my life definitely makes me feel good, keeps me encouraged. I love where I'm at, working and writing and with my music, so that always puts me in a good mood whenever I figure out what I want to say in a beat. And yeah, Party does make me happy too. And on October 20th that year, it was Party's time to gush, posting an Instagram video for the couple's one year anniversary. Yeah, it seems like Megan and Party had a great time that night. Okay, so where's the drama? This looks just like any other happy couple who has it all. Well, to get to the bottom of the messiness, we have to delve into the Tory Lanez case. It all began on July 12th, 2020, with four people in a car. Megan, Tory Lanez, Tory's bodyguard, and Megan's friend, Kelsey Nicole. The four were returning from a pool party at Kylie Jenner's house when Megan and Tory started having a fight in the car. Suddenly, the car stopped and Megan tried to run. That's when Tori shot Megan in both feet. The police were there in a blink of an eye. But here's the plot twist. Apparently, when the police arrived and asked Megan what was going on, she didn't say she was shot. She said she stepped on broken glass. So later, when she claimed Tori shot her, fans and fellow musicians started throwing shade at her for being a liar and saying extreme things for attention. Her initial statement said, On Sunday morning, I suffered gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me. I was never arrested. The police officers drove me to the hospital where I underwent surgery to remove the bullets. Soon after, TMZ released an article quoting an LAPD officer. He confirmed Megan never told him she was shot. At least, not initially. Needless to say, this stirred huge waves, with other celebrities commenting Megan is a liar and is trying to frame Tori just because they had a fallout. I predict that they had some sort of Bobby and Whitney love that, you know, drove them down this snapped-esque mm. type of road. And mm. I'm here for it. I like that. I want you to like me so much you shoot me in the foot. Megan endured weeks of memes mocking her alleged shot feet. It got so bad for her mental health that she took to live Instagram to express her stress. But yeah, I had to get surgery. It was super scary. It was like just the worst experience of my life. <laughs> and it's not funny. There's nothing to joke about. It was nothing for y'all to start going and making up fake stories about. Tori responded to this by tweeting, Time will tell, and the truth will come to light. 
I have all faith in God to show that. Love to all my fans and people that have stayed true to me and know my heart. A charge is not a conviction. If you have supported me or Meg through this, I genuinely appreciate you. Point, Megan hadn't publicly named Tori as her shooter yet, but seeing his tweet and the wave of hate that it generated, she came out and said his name. Yes, this Tori shot me. You shot me. Stop lying. Why lie? I don't understand. You draw shot me everybody in the car it's only four in the car me you my home girl and your security everybody in the car arguing i'm in the front seat this in the back seat i get out the car i'm done arguing i don't want to argue no more i get out i'm walking away this from out the back seat of the car start shooting me you shot me I ain't get cut by no glass. She also explained why she told the police she'd stepped on glass at the time of the incident. The police come, I'm scared. All this going on with the police, the police is, is shooting motherfuckers for anything. The police was literally killing black people for no motherfucking reason. Soon as the police tell us all get out the mother car, the police is really aggressive. You think I'm about to tell the police that we, us black people got a gun in the car? You want me to tell the laws that, that we got a gun in the car so they can shoot all of us up? I'm scared. It's a helicopter over us. During her trial testimony, Megan Thee Stallion would confirm the same reasoning. This was the height of police brutality and George Floyd. I felt like if I said this man had just shot me, they might shoot first and ask questions later. I didn't want to see anybody die. I didn't want to die. However, the accusations didn't stop and this is having an impact on Megan's mental health and on her relationship with Party. Tory Lanez was charged with three felony charges, assault with a semi-automatic handgun, carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. He was also ordered to stay at least 100 yards away from Megan. However, he continued his smear campaign, blaming Megan for affecting his career for no reason and insisting she was lying. Megan addressed the whole shebang with a powerful article in the New York Times. Why I speak Speak up for black women. She commented, Black women are still constantly disrespected and disregarded in so many areas of life. Her article received a lot of love and support, especially as Tori was really getting out of favor after releasing an album the same day as Breonna Taylor's verdict was announced. One fan tweeted, The audacity of Tori Lane shooting Megan and milking the situation to promote a new song the day after Breonna Taylor's verdict was announced? When we say black women are disrespected and unprotected, this is what we mean. However, the story didn't end there. In 2022, two years after the incident, Drake once again mocked Megan for lying about the shooting in his track Circo Loco. And as if that wasn't enough, Megan's trial with Tory Lanez unearthed a lot of drama. In December 2022, at his trial, Tory denied all three charges. At the beginning of the trial, Megan's boyfriend Party spoke up for her, sharing a heartfelt Instagram story post. To any women, especially ones of color that has suffered an injustice, when you do find the courage to speak up, it seems you will be ridiculed, your credibility will be questioned, your entire past will be held under a magnifying glass. In an instant, you can go from victim to defendant and the eyes of the public, to anyone with a daughter, sister, mother, niece of aunt. During the trial, Megan also spoke about this and complained that she hadn't gotten one bit of support from male musicians. Every man in a position of power in the music industry has taken his side. Not a day goes by without being called a liar. His whole thing is about who I was having sex with, not who shot me, and I don't know why. Yeah, speaking of that, this is where all the drama stemmed from. Instead of focusing on the incident and the incident only, the trial and Tory's defense became all about Megan's extensive dating history. On the first day of the trial, Megan denied having had any sexual relations with Tori, but it turns out that that was a lie. So the next day, a lot of truth came to light. In fact, her whole dating history was revealed. Moneybag Yo, Trey Songs, g Easy, Michael Beasley, Baby, and Australian basketball player Ben Simmons. And of course, Tory Lanez. Yeah, it turns out the two were once dating, and that night in July 2020, some nasty feelings came to light inside that car. Apparently, Megan insulted Tory's career, and Tory got so fired up that he attacked her. As Megan's personal history was unearthed, she had no choice but to admit she did have sexual relations with Tory. But you know what the problem is with that? Now, her trial wasn't about convicting Tory anymore. It was about discussing her past sexual relations and the lies she's told to her 
her current boo at the time, Party Fontaine. Because yeah, Party didn't know about Tori. Megan then issued a statement saying she felt disgusted about the whole situation. I feel disgusted. I feel dirty. My own partner is embarrassed. I can't even be happy. I don't want to talk to friends or family. The backlash against her got so bad that she broke down in court, saying she wished she hadn't survived Tori's attack. As she said those last words crying, it's safe to wonder, does Party not care for her anymore? Did she lose his support the moment her sexual history was revealed to the court? Now, every week, there's an article calling me a hoe. I don't want to live. I wish he had just shot and killed me if I had to go through this torture. Yeesh, strong words. On April 10th, 2023, Tory Lanez was convicted of all charges. He faces 22 years and eight months in prison. As his defense team is trying to get a retrial and earn him a lighter sentence, Megan is still struggling with backlash from the incident. She claims her feet are still sore every single day, and she has reoccurring pain walking. And of course, there's her love life. It seems like the trial might have damaged her relationship with party forever. On Valentine's Day 2023, after rumors of Hardy and Megan breaking up, Hardy posted this picture. But around the same time, rumors started going around that Megan was actually dating NFL player Travis Kelsey. Fans have shown their interest in the reported new couple. No shade party, but Travis Kelsey and Megan would be a sexy interracial couple. The rumors might be true. Megan follows under 200 people on her Instagram, yet she follows Travis. We've yet to learn more about Megan and Party's breakup, and just how much of it is because of the trial. But one thing's for certain, no one should shame someone for their dating history. Your past is your past, and that shouldn't make you a lesser person. Also, double standards for men and women should really stop. However, if Megan lied to Party and that impacted their private relationship, well, that's a whole other thing. And we're all eager to learn the truth about that. Thanks for watching, you guys. What do you think about Megan and Party's messy ending? Did Tori have a role in their breakup? Or is Travis just a side hustle and she'll get back together with Party? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. And before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. See you next time.